Welcome once again to Panel Data Analysis. In this video, I'm going to show how to track your output, whatever you are doing in Stata, how to track it. There are common two ways of um, tracking your, your, your activities in Stata. The first one is to use the lock, uh, lock uh, file and the second one is to use do file. Do file is what I use most of the time in um, in tracking what I do in Stata. So to use an, a log file, you go to open in Stata, file, you go to file, and then you select lock, begin, select, and then when you select, then you, you, you select text and not SM. CL. The text will store your data, your information the way you want it. So let's look at how to do the first step. How to track your activities using the log file. So let's get to Stata. This is Stata. You go to File. And then you go to Log. So Begin. You click on Begin. So I click, I have it. So where do you want to store it? You just select where you want to store this log file so that everything that you are doing will be kept, will be stored. As I was saying, you need to select from here. Sometimes it's in, it's in uh, this format. It's in the S, SMCL format. So you make sure you select it to the log file format which is uh, the text uh, version so mine is already there in case yours is not there so you have to select the log file format so i can give a name to it and say that um, uh, let's say panel data or just panel uh, analysis for example so I can choose a place to store it. So I can go to data analysis panel and I'll store this uh, log file there. So I save. Okay. So you see log file, you see is now on and the text. So whatever I do here, then I'm able to track it. So if you, for example, if we had data here, we can track what we are doing here and uh, it will be easy to track it. At the end of the day, whatever we do, we just go back to that file that we created um, and we have everything there. But at the moment, let's just continue to show how it's done. So if we, we want to, if we want to then stop that, so you go to you, uh, the same place and then you choose a file, log and then just you simply see, you see close so or you can simply type in the command area log close so let's do both of them so i can go back to stata and say and just type log close then i have closed it so another approach is to go back to the same place again you begin and then say that i'm starting a second one with two and this time around we don't want to use the command but we want to use so i just add one to differentiate it from the first one so i save now again it's on this time around, i want to close it from from the file so file lock then i see close so i just click on close Okay, so that's one way of tracking your activities. We will demonstrate that when we import data and uh, in, in the next video. But now let's go to how to create a do file. This, what I show now is a do file, but how do we do that in practice? So the second step, how to track your information or whatever you do in Stata is to create a do file. And to create a do file, you, you go to window, 
So you go to window in your state and go to do file editor and then new do file editor. Then a very something like this will be will pop up. How do we do that? Let me just show briefly. So I go to window, then do file, new do file. So I open new do file. Then here, um, so again, we want to say we are starting with panel data. So I say that panel data analysis is what we are doing, panel data analysis. Okay, so whatever we do here, all the commands that we will be doing, you can be storing them here. What the difference between this um, do file and then the log file is that log file will keep everything. Whereas the do file, you only, you only select what you want to store and you keep them here. So the log file will give you all the commands and all the output, meaning you have a lot. Whereas the do file will only keep the commands that you have been executing in Stata. So here, if for example, I want to say regress, so I do a regression, regret X, uh, Y, X1, and then X2. Okay, so if I run this command, assuming I have data, then I, this is what I'm running, and next time I come, I know that I have run a command like regress. Okay, so we can save this also, in the same place that we did. So say panel data. So the same, we have the log file. So you can just uh, name this one the same way, but it will be stored with the do file in the do file format. So I click panel analysis. Okay, so now next time I open, um, I want to start with the analysis. I have to start with the do file first. And mostly when you start with the do file, then you have Stata open already. How do we do that? So let me just close this. Assuming that I'm now coming to start my analysis. So I go to open that do file first before I, I import the data. So this is, I'm, I'm looking for the one we just saved. So panel analysis, here it is, you say do file. So I click on do file. First step I do is, so I open this one anytime to do any regression so that I can always store on the same file. So this is um, this is how we, we, we track what we do. So on the next step will be how do we get the data into Stata. So in the next video I will show how do we get data into um, Stata and start our panel data analysis.